All right, it is early in the morning and I'm super excited because I'm going to try and upcycle these old lamps. So I really, really needed two lamps. Um, and lamps are really expensive. I didn't realize they're like $30 for like a nice lamp at Home Goods or something like that. And they can get even more expensive if you buy them from like, um, you know, the real big retail stores. So I got these on offer up for $15 for both of them. And right now they're really ugly. But what I'm going to try and do is paint the lampshades black. And then I'm going to try and paint the bases full on silver. So I actually took the cap off, but it is silver. All right. So let's see how this turns out. So automatically I've already taken a rag and kind of just like dusted off the lampshades and I'm going to do the same thing to the actual bases. All right, so I've dusted off the base and I'm going to go ahead and start spray painting. So that's the first coat. There is a little bit of texture going on there. Um, hopefully that will just dry off. We'll see. Not sure how I'm feeling. Alright, so I pretty much covered um, the whole thing. I didn't want to cover the actual light bulb part because I wasn't sure, like I didn't want it to get inside, you know, it's flammable. So um, notice, on the first side, I kind of went really heavy with the spray paint right away and I got that texturing, so I'm just going to kind of probably sand that down and redo that later. Um, but on the second side, I went a little bit lighter and did like coats. So I'm going to do another coat in a few seconds and you can see I didn't have that problem. So just be careful when you're spray painting, don't go too heavy. So again, just a side-by-side -side comparison with the spray paint. I'm gonna do the second one now. All right, second base down. Now I'm gonna try and do the lampshades. So right now they're this really ugly, I don't even know what type of pattern this is, and we're gonna go in with this all-in-one matte black paint. Let's see how this works. That's one coat. I can still see some of the texture, but honestly, it's not bad. Once it's in black, it looks okay. All right, let's do the whole thing. All right, so I finished spray painting everything. I'm gonna clean off the cords. Um, I might spray paint the cords black just to make them look a little bit better, but there are the bases. And there are the lampshades. and I'll put them together in a few seconds. I'm just gonna let them dry for probably a few hours and then I'll come back and show you the final product. All right, I was really impatient and did not wanna wait for the paint to dry, so I just kind of put it together like really quickly and it kind of messed up the thing on the top because I got my fingerprints on it, but worst case scenario, I can just sand that off and respray paint it as a small piece. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, I mean, all together I spent like, I spent 10 bucks on the paint and I spent $15 on the lamps. So I got two lamps for $25 and I think they came out really pretty. I think they're very modern looking and that's exactly what I was looking for. All right, I hope you like this DIY. So I know that the room is not 100% decorated and this is because it's not really my room. Um, I got these lamps as a gift for someone. So I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like inside of the bedroom. Don't mind the mismatching bed, we're gonna work on that. And I have to set the alarm, <laughs> so don't mind the alarm, I have to set that as well. But yeah, here is the final result. There's a little patch here that I had to spray paint so it's still drying, but eventually it'll dry like the rest of it. And yeah, I'm really proud. I think they came out awesome. And I think that it fits the room perfectly. And there's the second one. So yeah, honestly, for $25, I don't think that you can get a better deal for some night lamps, night table lamps. Okay, bye.